what's up guys Merc and Max and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a UHC server on Minecraft console what are you doing Enderman go ahead and get out of here buddy let's go ahead and disable mobs real fast real quickly uh we'll just we'll disable mob blue and we'll leave tile drops on uh where are the mobs at okay mob spawn is off I don't know why the hell he's still around but um I am sick if you guys haven't noticed so my commentary is going to be a little bit weird and my voice is going to sound a little bit scratchy and I do really apologize for that. But what we're going to first need to do is we're going to need, it, need to make a new world and change the settings in that so I will see you guys then. So we're going to need, uh, <laughs> let me say that again, we're going to need to make a new world and we're going to need to change the settings in the world so we could have it coordinated to a UHC server. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first thing you're going to need to do, create a new world. We're going to name this world. We're going to go ahead and name it UHC. Now we're going to put the difficulty on hard and then we're going to go to more options. Uh, world size small. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. wait, no, 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 no. We'll keep the large, keep it a large. Next, what you're going to want to do is make it uh, trust players. We'll take that off. Fire spread TNT explodes, generate structures. Uh, large okay online game invite only allow players player versus player host privileges make sure your host privileges are on make sure daylight cycle on weather cycle on keep inventory off all this on and uh, looks about looks pretty good looks pretty good about now so it looks uh, a coordinated to what you need oh yeah wait there's something else okay natural regeneration oh yeah that's what we were missing you guys want to go to natural regeneration and take that off so that you're only able to regen health by golden apples, potions, or golden apples, potions, or like the, the god apples, which are the ones made with the gold, gold blocks. Sorry about that. And then we're going to go ahead and create this new world. And we're going to wait for it to start up. It starts up pretty fast, so no need to do a cut com on here. Sorry about that. But I'm going to go ahead. Oh, yeah, we'll just fast forward this. All right, so we have a spawn inside of the world here. Now what you're gonna wanna do, go ahead and switch over to creative. From the creative, you're going to want to, uh, let's see here, sorry if you guys are hearing me take off anything or any background audio, I do apologize for that. Oh man, I hate the sniffles. That's the worst thing about being sick is like always having to, <laughs> I hate that, that's like the most annoying thing. Now uh, we're gonna go ahead and let's look around here. Okay, everything seems to be good. Now that we can fly, we're going to whip out our map and go to the coordinates 0, 0. So that is the exact middle of the map. Uh, 0, 0x, zero and 0, is it 0, y, I believe? Okay, so right, we'll stop around here, and then, okay, this way. We're going to have to go this way. So as you guys will notice, once we get to 0, 0, that's going to be the world spawn point. So will be where everybody else has to meet up whenever the UHC actually starts. So it's going to be right here, I believe. Is it this block? Okay, yeah, it's this block. So we're going to go ahead and get a, gl a glowstone. Mark that. We're going to set this as the world spawn point. So this is where everybody's going to be at. And from here, you can pretty much build the, not the cornucopia, but the spawning point. So like the little pods for everybody to, you know, you're going to hit the redstone thing and everybody's going to go their own separate ways. But at the end of the UHC, everybody has to come back and gather up and, and kill each other pretty much. Everybody has to head back to coordinate zero zero. Since we do not have plugins, oh sorry about that, hit my mic. Since we do not have plugins or anything like that for them to come back like world barriers or anything. Uh, Cause I know in the like legit UHC servers, whenever um, it's time for them to come back, when it's time for you to come back into the game and uh, everybody has to meet up at zero zero, uh, there's world barriers that start to close in making the map smaller. So um, watch for example, so say, say, okay, so we're in the middle right now. Uh, it'll start to shrink down little by little. So if you're on the outside and it starts shrinking and you're like in that part where it shrinks, you'll just end up dying. Like you'll take damage just because you're not going to zero zero, which is really cool. I wish we did have plugins on console. Sadly, we do not. Hopefully in the future we do get that. But you can make the cornucopia or the center part um, however beautiful you want. I'm a really terrible builder, so it might not come out as good looking as your guys's. I'm going to go ahead and try that. We'll build a little one here just to uh, go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about here. So we're just going to make a fast a little one to just for now. And uh, we'll, 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 well, we won't make real pods, but we'll make 
some pause. Okay, so this is our little standing point here. This is our uh, main thing. I got a better idea of what we can put right here. We'll go ahead and dig down here so we can actually put one in here. And that'll actually make it right there. Okay. And, uh, all right, well, one second. Where's it at? There it is. Okay. Place down some iron blocks up in here. And then we're almost ready, guys. We're almost ready. Oh. Why isn't it going on? Turn on. Turn on. Did I seriously do it wrong? Does it need to be more? Uh, maybe one more like this. I think it needs to be more. Uh, like another layer bottom. But you guys get... Oh, that's why. Uh, hello. Uh, the hello. Uh, the hello. Okay, I guess it's not working. Whatever. But anyways, you guys get it. And then we'll go in and create some little pods here. So we're going to get some stone slabs. Uh, these will be a representation of the pods. You know, you're just going to have... You're going to have little pods going along here. It could go up to eight people. Uh, I would recommend doing a UHC of like a single player one. So everybody's on their own and uh, they have to survive by themselves rather than having uh, maybe like a team of two. Maybe that'd be really fun as well. Uh, team of threes that, that really wouldn't work out unless we get more players. And a team of fours is fun as well. But it's, um, it's definitely a lot more strategic than the other ones. Like just because you have to work as a big old team, not really just a small team. I don't know. I feel like a, a one one man thingy was better than having a full team just because you know you could rely on yourself better than you can rely on anybody else i don't know that's just me but that's pretty much it that's the idea behind that and uh if you guys don't know how to play uhc i usually um initially you know there's a there's a people right here in the middle we spawn okay we all go out to the thing we can't hit we can't kill each other for like i believe it's like a 15 minute grace period or no like a 30 minute grace period so uhc is a really long just to sum that up for you guys they're about like an hour long games uh, no, grace period for 30 minutes, which means, you know, you'd have to take, uh, attack, attack players off for 30 minutes. After that, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to have, let everybody know these rules, of course, before the game starts, that they're going to have to start heading to zero, zero. And, uh, well, I don't, I th uh, yeah, name tags, you can have them on or off. It's optional to you guys. If you guys, it's, if they're on, it's a lot easier for the opposing teams to find you. A lot of the UHEs that I played on console, what they would do is they would turn it on for like 15 seconds just so you would see where they were and then they'd turn it back off. You can do that or you can just leave them on or turn them completely off. But you want to have them head back to 0-0 zero, zero, so eventually they do meet up in the middle and they all fight and see who wins at the end. And uh, you have to gather resources, uh, mainly golden apples and god apples and you know just enough to protect yourself and kill other people. Lava and water are definitely really important in UHCs. But I recommend you guys watch a video about UH, uh, like how to play UHC. Uh, before making this or anything like that, you know, look up a video on uh, UHE. There's some pretty cool videos. Um, like, who, who do I watch? Grape Applesauce is pretty cool. He makes some pretty cool um, UHE videos. But I don't know. This is it. This is this is the uh, little thing I have for you guys set up here. Overall, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please be sure to smack that like button, which you guys control or mouse or keyboard. If you guys need a channel and enjoy videos such as these, please feel free to subscribe. Well, that's better for today, guys. I'm working on Max as always. Live slow, dream fast. See ya.